the first thought that goes through our heads is, what's about to happen? It's funny how she can take something that most of us just like forget about and still finds a way to make it cool. So it's a recognizable dynamic shift for the audience, and it's something that keeps us engaged. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of Poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I'm doing a brand new Reacts video. The twist? This time around, I'm actually reacting to something that just came out. Something that I really enjoyed and that I hope you do as well. Before we dive in though, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecha, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing businesses and what they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. And special thanks to non-business friends of the channel, Johnny Howard, Lane Machinsky, and Becca Beckonen. Thank you all so very much for your support for my work and my mission. All right, so when I started doing my React series, most of the videos that I was reacting to were important videos in the canon of Poi Spinning. Most of them were either a decade or more old, and I hadn't reacted to anything that was comparatively recent. But all that changes today because there was a glow stringing video that came out about a week ago and that went really viral. And I would love to share with you my thoughts on it. This is a video featuring artist Stacy Hata at Electric Daisy Carnival uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, I loved the heck out of this video, so much so that when people started asking about it taking off, um, I made this very, very long post explaining everything Thing that I loved about it, and I thought that a lot of this stuff would be great for a React video too. Most notably, I think that this is a video that is most excellent in its treatment of pacing as well as keeping the audience engaged, as well as the awesome things that can happen when you move a camera around. All right, so let's dive in, and here's the first thing that I want you to notice here. So the first few seconds here, let's go back and check that out for just a second, because What's happening in the first like two or three seconds of this video? Absolutely nothing. She's adjusting her grip and she's getting ready for what comes after. Why is this a good thing? Because it arouses something called the curiosity gap. When we see her setting up her glow sticks, the first thought that goes through our heads is, what's about to happen? Is this about to be cool? Is this about to be a train wreck? We want to see what happens next. So within the first couple seconds, she's giving us a reason to tune in for a little bit longer. Quite nice. Nice. And immediately, we see that she's got some good techniques as a glow stringer. She's rapping. Ooh, cool. So did you see what just happened there? We got the first few notes of a song that a lot of us are familiar with. This, of course, is uh, Sandstorm by Darude, which I will confess as a Finn, I will always have a soft spot for. Yes, Darude is a Finnish DJ. Um, and you'll note there was a moment just a second ago where that popped up on her face, where it's clear that Stacy knows too what just happened and she's getting ready for it. Now, I'm going to let the build play out for a second so you can see what happens. And then I'm going to go back through and show you why it works. was awesome. So let's talk about why it was awesome. I count at least three specific phases to that build. 
So let's go back and explore them, shall we? First and foremost, right after Stacy has her reaction where she realizes the song that's about to happen here, let me show you what happens next. So that was her moment of recognition. What does she do? She starts bringing in the glow sticks close to her body. In fact, she gets all the way to the point where she's got the tethers completely wrapped up and we get our first discrete part of this build. Now, those of us who know the song are waiting for the beat to drop and we're right there with her, but she's doing something to help get us interested in visually as well. Um, she switched from the original style that she started the video with to something that it more resembles uh, freehand glow sticking. I think it's called freehand glow sticking. And she spends the first part of the build just tracing the glow sticks around her body and doing liquid dance with it. Oh, cool. And now we've had our first dynamic shift in the glow sticks as the build continues. Namely, she's let loose with the glow sticks and switched to a style that it contains some elements of poi spinning and some elements of uh, glow sticking wraps. So we have something that like when the wraps happen, they feel a lot like the tracing that came before it, but we've also got something that's added a little bit of volume to what she's doing too. So it's a recognizable dynamic shift for the audience and it's something that keeps us engaged. And cool. We just entered the last part of the build here, uh, where I don't think even she knows when the beat is going to hit. But what she's done is she's added another layer of visual interest to what she's doing. Um, where we went from stuff that was tucked in very, very close to her body to stuff that was starting to move away from it. Now she's added to both the volume as well as the levels of her performance and added some windmills and flowers and uh, extensions to her spinning. We get contrasts with each part of this build. Crossers and giants and boom, there it was. And now, You'll notice she's adjusted her style once again. Through the build, we went from tracers to wraps and some traditional poi to doing big, big, big moves, windmills and giants. And now she's brought back down her volume and levels just a little bit. Why? Because it contrasts the big levels, the big volume and high levels that she was just playing with a second ago. So it becomes another dynamic shift that keeps us invested and interested in what she's doing. And of course, now that the beat is dropped, she gets to go wild with it. Nice. And notice how we're getting different perspectives on her as she's doing this too. Like in some cases she's working in wall plane and she's facing us. And in some cases she's working in wheel plane and we see her profile. Another great way to explore the space around her with, uh, with her body and to give us additional uh, kind of visual information in the process. Cool. Now we've got some tracery stuff. So one thing I do want to note here, I feel like what happens after the beat drops is that Stacy's essentially doing something similar to what the conductor of, uh, to, to what the uh, person who composes a symphony does, where they introduce a few musical themes that they then go on to embellish upon. Stacy definitely explored three different discrete themes for movement in the course of that build. And now that the beat is dropped, she's exploring putting all of them together. We're seeing the tracers put together with the wraps and the traditional poi. And I guarantee you anything, we're gonna see some windmills tucked in here as well. And of course, some great behind the back stuff. I'm terrible at behind the back. She's way better at it. Oh, there was the windmill, who called it? Nice, and the giants. Can I also just say for a second that I love the way that she does meltdowns? Um, a lot of people tend to keep their upper bodies like basically just straight as a rod as they're uh, performing their meltdowns. Her entire body is getting into it. We see it like it basically thrash around a little in space as though it has an opinion on the movements that it's performing in order to do the meltdown. Fantastic. Also, I love her feet marching there to the beat. That's a fantastic touch. Um, she does something that I wish a lot more flow artists would do in that she moves her feet and she makes moving her body around as important as moving her props around. That's part of why this video is so fun to watch. Also, notice as she's walking around, the camera follows her and we get to see parts of the background. This adds more interest to us because we're curious. What else is there behind her? 
That was sick. That also has to be the steesiest uh, reverse thread the needle I think I've ever seen. It's funny how she can take something that most of us just like forget about after we've been spinning for a couple years and still finds a way to make it cool. Nicely done. Also like check out the look on her face as she's doing all this. She's having a freaking blast. And that helps us as the audience to be there with her. And now the video is winding down. And of course the very last shot of it is a massive smile on her face. Fantastic. All right, so here's a few takeaways from this video that I think are particularly important and help to explain why it went viral. So number one, the video really engages our curiosity gap and it does an amazing job of paying it off. Not only within those first few seconds of the video are we intrigued about where it's going next, but every single time that Stacy introduces a new idea, it's just in time to keep our attention. And what's even better, as time goes on in the video, she finds ways to call back to those ideas and keep us engaged. Number two, this video is shot fantastically. It's well lit enough that we can see the performer really well. We can see those wonderful expressions on her face. We can see her dancing and marching her feet in place, as well as moving Moving around the space that she has access to. The camera follows her around and that adds an additional level of interest to the whole thing. And finally, she knows how to put together really satisfying techniques. She knows how to take each of these individual discrete ideas for how you can perform with glow sticks or poi and pulls them together into a new mashup that I personally think is just really cool. She's got her rapid wraps down. She has all of her extensions, meltdowns and all that kind of stuff down. And two, she gives us a little bit of some more freehand style, which like seeing all these pieces put together in this particular way is really, really satisfying. I don't think it's any coincidence that this video blew up. It's wonderfully composed, it is wonderfully shot, and quite frankly, the skills in it are fantastic too. So Stacy, well done here. This also isn't the only awesome video that she's produced. I don't even think that this is the first video of hers that I got into. Uh, so I'll go ahead and leave links to her socials down in the description because you should go check her out. Do yourself a favor. So I hope you all can take some lessons from Stacy here and uh, go forth and create some awesome videos yourself. Maybe something that you learned here will help you go viral. You never know. And Stacy, beautiful job. Please keep these amazing videos coming. They are such a pleasure to watch and uh, it's definitely inspiring me to explore some more glow stringing stuff myself. Keep up the good work. Do you want to see me react to more contemporary videos? Uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Or let me know if there are some older videos that you would love to see me react to as well. I'm happy to do both. Did you get anything out of this video? Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to keep the conversation going. And of course, to help people find this video and to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible without the kind support of all of these amazing people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon. And they, along with people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your amazing support. Do you like my videos? Do you like my flow sessions, vlogs, reacts videos, etc.? I'm on a mission to try and bring poise spinning and flow arts to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies as creative individuals. So help me do it. Head on over to patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi and sign up. You can do that at the link down in the description or the card that just popped up if you are watching on YouTube. Uh, that once again is uh, patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards and even better, you'll be helping me out in my mission. So go check that out. Please and thank you. If you want to check out more Reacts videos that I have done in the past, uh, there should be a playlist of them linked to down in the description or uh, this bottom link on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, the algorithm thinks that you will like this top video right here. So give that a shot and see if that is up your alley. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to get out and flow today and I'll see you with a brand new video on Wednesday. Thanks so, thanks so much for watching once again. Have a good one. Peace.